Let me go ahead and do this one right here. I'm going to go into what is coming. This, there's another cycle coming. The universal, the universal consciousness cycle. Again, I'm not kidding. Universal consciousness cycle. It begins on February 10th, 2011. During this consciousness cycle, each one of these shifts and changes will last for, or will take 20 days. Um, this, this ethical, I mean, this, this galactic consciousness cycle started January 5th, 1999. It has a type of consciousness that it is operating under. Or developing. And that type of consciousness, in case you haven't already noticed, ethics. What is happening to the power elite corporations that are in power across this planet? What is happening to them right now? They're getting in a lot of hot water. Their ethics are being put in, aren't they? Hi. Yes? Um, something that I've noticed is um, I have myself have gotten involved in a few different MLM companies and been watching what's been going on. Huh? And it's really interesting how a company will start up and they seem to have integrity and everybody says, oh, this is great, and they all jump on board. And the minute they lose integrity, it is amazing how many people just are gone from that company, lost their integrity, they have no ethics, and people are leaving them in masses. Yes. Consciousness is not just us. Consciousness is this pen, the air you're breathing, the tree standing outside. Consciousness is all of creation. It's not just people. Consciousness is everything. Just a moment. We're going to get, get the mic over here. Consciousness is everything. And everything is oriented to ethics. Yes? What was the event that uh, precipitated the uh, advent of the galactic consciousness? Oh, there wasn't, oh no, a consciousness first, then event. It goes consciousness, light, thought, event. Well, remember what you were doing January 5th? January 5th of 99? Do you remember what you were doing? As a matter of fact, that's when you were first hearing about Y2K. That's when that consciousness that your systems that you're dependent upon are not all that reliable was planted during that period of time. That consciousness that the power you rely on is not the end all of your existence and that it could all go away in just a microsecond. That consciousness was January 5th, 1999. If you were looking for an event or, yeah, okay. And we've come further and further along. Right now, by the way, right now we're in this cycle. We're in the third night. We'll talk more, much more in depth about this particular stage that we're in right now. In this cycle, we're down there. Okay. This universal consciousness cycle will have its own purpose, and that purpose is conscious co-creation. Conscious co-creation. Now, it's pretty evident that we are already co-creating our experience. 
For instance, if you weren't here, this event wouldn't be happening, would it? If any one of you were gone, it wouldn't be the same experience, would it? So we are all co-creating our experience all of the time. We're usually not as conscious about it as we could be, though. And where this is all leading is to our full ability to consciously co-create our experience. That's a big idea. And we're going to build some more groundwork on how that happens and how it can possibly happen. Can we have the microphone, please? Very it's the very last level of the whole thing. It only runs part of a year. Yeah, 260 days. This whole cycle is 260 days long. Uh, the question was, okay, after that 260 days, then what? Uh, you have to wait. <laughs> We're going to get to that during this talk. We're going to get right to it. Okay? I promise. You're gonna, the whole Mayan calendar comes to a screeching halt. It ends completely on October 28th, 2011. Every one of these cycles comes to a boom stop on that day. You will know what happens and why as best as we can be explained. But there's some explaining to do before we get there. Okay? Now, the way this works is you've noticed that there's a constant acceleration here. Maybe some of you have noticed that time seems to be speeding up. Yes? Well, that's not exactly true. Time is not speeding up. Creation is. There's more and more event in less and less time than ever before. And it's going to keep on accelerating and keep on accelerating. You want to have a very personal experience of how much change there is between here and here? You want to know? Because all of you have a very direct experience of how much consciousness shift there is between one of these days and the next night, or then that night and the next day. Every one of you were born during this period, during the end of this planetary cycle, when things were changing once every 19.7 years. You were born to a couple of really nice people called your parents. And up until you were old, 13, 15 years old, everything was going along just fine. Then you started noticing something. And you know, those people who claimed that they were your parents, those embarrassments that like loaded you up in the car and took you places. Remember that? This, that difference of point of view, you knew for sure, and whether you did it politely or not so politely, you knew for sure that you were more capable of handling situations and new information than your parents ever could or ever would. This was called the generation gap when people were talking about that sort of thing. And studies were done all over about how long the generation gap was, and they came out with the idea that it was 20 years long. 